Exclusive interviews with players and coaches. At that moment, I knew that was the university that best fit me. Exclusive insider analysis. I mean, this is a huge decision. Exclusive commitments. Denzel Ward will be a member of the Syracuse Orange. National Signing Day, this Wednesday, only on CampusInsiders.com. Welcome to our Campus Insider Studio. I'm Doug Chapman, and I'm joined by recruiting analyst Alan True. Now, Alan, it's Groundhog Day. Poxitani Phil said there's six more weeks of cold weather. I'm not looking forward to that. You're not a weather predicting groundhog, but I need you to try to predict and take a look at the SEC between Florida and Auburn. We've got a little recruiting battle between some five-star kids down there. Those two schools are pulling pretty strong on them. Got three guys. Need you to tell me where they're going. You ready? I am ready. All right, first on that list, we've got offensive lineman Martez Ivy. Where's he going? Yeah, kid that cast a big shadow. I talked to Martez down at the U.S. Army All-American game, and he seemed ready to announce, decided to take a few more weeks to think about it. It's going to be either Florida or Auburn. Right now, our insiders and everything is pointing towards Florida being the one who lands the nation's number one offensive tackle would be a huge get for Jim McElwain, and as of now, I think he gets it done. Yeah, they had issues offensively last year. Getting this kid down there would definitely help that offense get a little jump start. Let's go down the list. Byron Coward, where is he headed? Another one that looks like it's going to be Florida or Auburn. There's a little bit more mystery here. Our insiders are split. Some think Florida, some think Auburn. The kid deleted his Twitter account, so there's not going to be any hints on there. But as of now, I'm also going to go with Florida on this one. I think McElwain closes strong, and I think Gators, the Gators end up with a big signing day, keeping both Coward and Ivy in state. Will definitely help that defense. They had a great defense last year. He'd be a big help to, to get in there and be an immediate impact player. Last on that list, C.C. Jefferson, another D lineman. Well, I know the theme here is Florida and Auburn, and those schools are both in his top four. They're both contending for his signature. I think of the two, the Gators have the better shot right now, but I'm actually going to throw a curveball out there. I think he's going to end up with the old Miss Rebel, so he's going to end up playing against Florida and Auburn someday. I think the Gators still might be in it. There's still room for a late surprise, but as of now, I think he's going to end up in Oxford. Now, Alan, I know Gators fans would be very excited if they could get one, two. Of course, they could get all three of these guys. Seven and five last year. Currently, their class is not even in the top 50 in the nation. New head coach in McIlwain, he's getting up and running. Should the fans be panicking right now? I think recruiting-wise, there isn't a reason to panic yet. I think let's see what happens on signing day. As I said, I think they're going to get a couple of those top guys, and that ranking is going to go upward. Also, anytime a new coach takes over, it's really hard to throw together a class just when you have a month or two left. I think they've done a great job of getting in on some of these top guys and keeping themselves in the game, even though they had that coaching change. I think more of the worry should be we didn't have a good season last year. Are some of these freshmen going to be ready to step in and play? Ivy and Cowart are great prospects, five-star guys, but not necessarily two guys that we think are ready to step in right away and play. So I think that's more of the concern. I think recruiting will take care of itself, especially in the 2016 and 2017 classes. Thanks a lot, Alan. For more on Thanks. recruiting leading up to National Signing Day, keep it locked right here, campusinsiders.com.